Hi, welcome, this is Clemens the Elector. Some time ago, while sitting in the train, my laptop was stolen, uh, leaving me with the, the power supply and the mouse, uh, because I use a remote mouse. And this mouse now is orphaned because I had lost the a tiny receiver for it because it was still plugged in the laptop. So when I got home I looked on the internet to see if it was possible to do something with an orphan mouse uh, because I was sure that someone uh, would have uh, hacked these things. Uh, now this is a Logitech mouse and uh, while looking on the internet I found that Logitech has a whole lot of software to uh, play with these mouses. You can pair them to other receivers if you have one um, and you can update the firmware. But what I also found was a blog post from a security company that explained that it is possible to hack a computer by injecting keystrokes through a mouse receiver. Now this worried me a bit because the laptop that got stolen had uh, such a receiver plugged into it. And I was wondering if it would be possible to get into my computer uh, through the mouse receiver, even though that my computer was password protected. And therefore I started investigating this a little bit further. Hacking a computer through a mouse receiver is called mouse jacking. And searching the internet again, I found quickly some GitHub repositories with mouse jacking software that I downloaded and tried out. Note that mouse jacking dates back to 2016, which is about four years ago. Uh, and so uh, mouses that you buy new in the shop uh, are hopefully uh, safe against these kinds of attacks. But like me, uh, many people uh, will have uh, old mouses lying around and these may still be vulnerable. So you may want to update your software for these mouses. The software that I found on GitHub was based on the Python code from the security company and someone even had ported it to Arduino. Many of these mouse receivers are based on an NRF24 chip from Nordic. It's the same chip that we find also on these cheap little RF modules that we use a lot in Arduino projects. Other mouse receivers have a Texas Instruments chip inside and uh, there are also Bluetooth uh, receivers, but Bluetooth uh, receivers are not uh, concerned here. These modules also exist with power amplifier and big antennas and having a range of 100 meters, meaning that you can hack a computer from 100 meters away. I built my uh, mouse jack device on an Arduino Uno with an NRF24 module in it. This gives it a range of about uh, 10 meters. The Logitech mouse jack software can run on an uh, NRF52840 dongle from Nordic, uh, a dongle that you can buy for 10 euros. In my home I found four wireless Logitech mouses that uh, would make for potential targets. But this mouse jack software only works with so-called uh, unifying uh, receivers, um, which are receivers to which you can connect multiple devices. Unifying receivers and mouses and keyboards uh, that can connect to these receivers are identified uh, with this uh, orange uh, little star-like symbol that is printed on them. Of course I tried to hack uh, all my four wireless Logitech mouses, but I found only one vulnerable one, and that was this one. The uh, UC mouse jack software runs on an Arduino Uno. All you need is a little NRF24L01 Plus module uh, that you connect to the SPI port of the uh, AVR microcontroller. Adding a big capacitor to the power supply is uh, recommended for proper operation. To run the UC mouse jack software you need the platform I.O. So you must first install that if you don't have it uh, already. Uh, then you download the UC mouse jack uh, repository from GitHub. To use it, you must first create a ducky script file. This is a plain text document with simple commands that are injected into the target computer and that will be executed by the target computer, hopefully. You must compile the ducky script file with a Python script into a header file. This header file is used by the Arduino sketch. Um, so when you compile and upload the Arduino sketch, the ducky script is integrated and as soon as you run the device and you wiggle, you use the mouse on the target computer, your malicious code will be injected on the target computer. The Python script that turns a ducky script into a header file uh, is uh, intended for Python 2. You can run it uh, with Python 3 if you change uh, one line, line 155, uh, the print statement needs uh, brackets in this case. For the Logitecker software you don't have to install anything as uh, pre-compiled binaries are included in the git uh, repository. All you have to do is download the repositories and then flash one of the binaries into your dongle. The Logitecker software runs on the dongle and is controlled by a serial terminal.
In this video you saw that it is possible to break into a computer by going through the wireless mouse receiver. You can then inject commands into the computer and take control over it. You can for instance install malicious software or download something from a website. So if you are using a wireless mouse you may want to upgrade its firmware to the latest version to be sure that you have all the latest security features installed. What you saw in this video does not work with every wireless mouse. The Logitech unifying mouse that I bought last week is safe against these kinds of attacks. On the internet you can find a list of uh, potentially unsafe mouses. So that's it. I hope you found it interesting and uh, thank you for watching.